My name is Carmila Parakasi. I'm a tiger conservationist for WWF. I work with a team conducting tiger research and monitoring in central Sumatra landscape. I've heard about WWF since I was in university. It's an environmental organization with many years of experience on species conservation work. Well, wildlife has always been my patience. So if I want to give contribution to species work, I know I have to come and work for WWF. I have been working for WWF for three years, and it was started when I did my research on Sumatran tiger for my bachelor degree with the support from the grant of WWF Indonesia. I was investigating the relation between human activities and the presence of the Sumatran tiger and their prey in Tesonilo National Park, which took me two months to finish it. And as soon as I finished my study, I started to work for WWF. With the bedtime stories my grandfather told me about wild animals. Um, so then when I was in university, I used to spend my vacation days doing some voluntary work. So the opportunity to work um, or to study uh, of tigers with WWF is really special. Um, especially because um, day by day um, I get more and more information about tiger and how important they are for our lives. Um, I wish I have started that earlier in my life um, and I also wish that there are more people care about tigers so um, I'm sure that they'll do everything just to make sure that tigers are safe and they live um, in their healthy habitat. Field work is always challenging, um, especially because Sumatran tigers occur at very low density, which means we have to cover extensive forest area and spend days in search for tiger signs. Um, another part that gaining support for our work is also a challenge because um, the research that we are doing, the monitoring that we are doing on Sumatran tiger requires a uh, great amount of time, a uh, great energy, we need to train uh, people, we need to train team, and of course the equipment like camera traps, safety equipment um, for the team uh, cost us a lot of money. Camera trap is really a um, fantastic tool. Before the camera trap was available, the study on Sumatran tiger, the data we got, is only from the detection uh, of the secondary signs of tigers, so mainly on footprints or scratch on a tree or even just from the sketch, which you really need to um, know where to find them and, uh, and you need to um, make sure that your identification is always correct, which naturally you might, you know, confuse with um, the size uh, and also when, when the footprints is too too old to identify, but with the camera traps, uh, you reduce this uh, error by having pictures of, of tigers and you can identify the individuals from their stripes. So uh, distribution data, population data are more actual uh, from the camera trap study. Um, it's also uh, important to say that uh, camera trap gives you a fantastic uh, pictures of beautiful tigers which uh, we can always use uh, as a communication tool uh, to give um, awareness to people. To set up a camera trap uh, you need to know what is your target and what is your um, target of animals, target of areas. So before we set up a camera trap um, for Sumatran Tiger Study of course our main target is to get uh, pictures of uh, Sumatran Tiger. Uh, so the first thing is to um, decide where do you want to uh, s uh, put your cameras. Um, identifying locations uh, of camera traps requires, sometimes requires one month just uh, to get to know the area pretty well, uh, identifying which roads that uh, Sumatran Tiger uh, actually use. And then the idea of using camera traps is that you um, increase your probability of getting uh, tiger pictures. So making sure that 
the location you pick is the best location with the high, highest probability of uh, tiger image. Working in a team is not my first time. Um, I had prior experiences working with the team, but uh, with a team that uh, all of the member of the team member are men is my first time here. Um, at first, I had this um, feeling. I was worried that what should I do? What should I say to them? Uh, how should I behave so that uh, I can be part of them? I can be accepted, and I'm not an alien to them. But the reality uh, was, it's not. It's not that difficult. Um, maybe because we share this uh, common goal, we share this common passion on uh, seeing uh, Sumatran tigers uh, survive and can live in their uh, in their forest. Um, the team uh, treat me in a way uh, that I get this uh, self confidence that uh, and I have the um, enough uh, that I'm strong enough to do all the work, uh, to do, uh, to spend days in the forest uh, with them and well, um, they don't have to say it but uh, I can sense that they are giving the best protection to me that they can, uh, uh, that the team can, can get. To work uh, on tiger conservation in Rio province is uh, especially is uh, really challenging because Rio is the only place uh, in the world where there are two giant companies of paper and pulp uh, operating here. So in terms of uh, top, uh, topography, Rio is dominated by flat areas, which means access to anywhere is pretty easy. Um, there's always this demand on uh, economic development, um, uh, lives of the community being improved, but we have this potential of wildlife. We have this Sumatran tiger axis, we have this uh, elephant, Sumatran elephant, as well as other, other wildlife. So balancing the needs of um, ecology and economic and social at the same time is very challenging uh, in, in Rio. There are two major threats to Bukit Tigapul. The first one is the forest conversion for paper and pulp industry and palm oil plantations. And the second one is the poaching for summer deer and barking deer, which are the main prey for tiger. To reduce the threats to Bukit Tigapul is to stop the ongoing and further forest conversion and then to put a proper protection over the park and the buffer zone areas. There are already some concessions exist in Bukit Tigapul. So the challenge is how we engage these companies to support the protection of the Bukit Tigapul forest by keeping aside their plans to clear the forest. There are four initiatives developed by WWF for the protection of Bukit Tigapul. The first one is to reduce the poaching threats to Sumatran tiger by deploying tiger protection unit. The second one is to establish baseline data for Sumatran tiger population, which done by conducting systematic research through camera traps. WWF also works together with local NGOs to extend the national park areas. And the newest one is that restoration will be conducted to degraded areas, which happen mostly in buffer zones of the national park. Government of Indonesia has committed to double the tiger population by 2022 in six locations throughout Sumatra Island. One of the locations is Bukit Tigapulo. However, this commitment must be translated into actions on the ground. So there is a need for both governments, local and national, NGOs, local communities, companies and other related stakeholders sit together and ensure that we are heading to the same target which is to double the tiger population number by protecting their habitat in Bukit Tigapulo. The lives of local communities in Bukit Tigapulo can be improved by identifying alternative incomes through the development of non-timber forest products 
such as wild honeybee collection and ecotourism, where most of the profits should go to these local communities. Uh, tigers in many areas of their distribution, uh, such as Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, Thailand, India, Nepal, Bhutan, Vietnam, and so on, are the symbol of power, the symbol of wealth, the symbol of determination. So tiger conservation means it is a symbol of our fight against forest conversion, illegal poaching and trade, um, wildlife conflict with human. And with tiger possess a huge areas as their home range means once we are protecting them, uh, we cover a lot of areas to protect and at the same time these forest areas are, are the habitat for other, another wildlife species and plant species. There are many ways to help tiger conservation. Um, people you can easily get the information about tiger, learn about um, why they are important in our ecosystem. Another way is to make sure that every product that we use in our daily life, such as paper we use for writing, um, toilet paper, or even cooking oil and the snacks that we consume are come from the certified um, sustainable plantations. Um, for the government, I think it's important that we give our uh, support and trust to them, especially to the government of Indonesia, that they can do the right thing by implementing those um, tigers' plans into action.